Virgo, welcome to your reading. This will be a past, present, future. Timeless, so whenever you come upon it, that's the right time. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Virgo's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. All right, wants us to stop right there. What's going on, Virgo? starting out with the four of wands this is a committed relationship possibly a marriage followed by the four of cups you're upset you're upset here disappointed things aren't working out ten of cups all your love cups filled this is a possible marriage it's if it's not a marriage, it's who you homestead with for sure, with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. But right in the middle is a lot of disappointment. In the current energies, we have the Hanged Man. You're hanging back, observing the situation from every angle that you can, not taking any action. Right at the heart of your reading, we have the Moon. Things yet to be revealed. Hidden things. And we have the King of Pentacles. He's the master of the manifestations, uh, the master manager of things, master of the resources, very stable, very grounded, could be a father figure, doesn't have to be. King of Pentacles. Very stable, very grounded, very masterful. In the immediate future, we have the Princess of Swords, also known as the Page of Swords. This says, uh, get ready. Pay attention. There's something to take a closer look at. There's some learning to be done here. Followed by the Five of Swords. This is winning at all costs. This means that somebody is willing to sacrifice losses just to win something. It's a card of ego. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could be good. Maybe the sacrifices aren't, aren't so bad or maybe they actually don't get sacrificed but this says that you're willing to or it could be major sacrifices we don't know yet we'll find out more with the clarifiers we have the ace of wands as your final card in the future you're being given an opportunity a brand new opportunity to take some kind of new bold and courageous action all right the overall energy of your reading, Virgo, the Knight of Pentacles. Things are moving a little bit slow here. All right, and we have the Two of Wands is the reason that we're here. Because you're contemplating your future long term. You're trying to pick a pathway forward. And uh, right here, you're just thinking about how each pathway would affect you long term down the road. Okay. Let's uh, clarify that Knight of Pentacles, moving slow, steady as she goes, that's what that says. You're on your horse, you're ready, you're at the ready, but you aren't moving, you're just sort of standing your ground here, not moving, almost frozen. <laughs> you are moving, but it's more like tiptoeing, slow, very, very slow, not really getting anywhere with that kind of pace, but that's okay, that's okay. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes we got to slow it down. Sometimes we have to come to a halt. All right. The Page of Cups. Hopeful. Feeling hopeful. You're open to love. And here we have the Five of Wands. This is conflict. Conflict with yourself, conflict with others, maybe both. Could be arguing, battling. And we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant. 
trying to figure out it could be a card of marriage representing marriage since we have a couple of those back here um, but whatever it is it's very significant to you and affects how you are feeling in spiritual alignment with yourself with your highest self All right, that's what we got for that. And the reason for those clarifiers, the moon, things that are yet to be revealed, it's right at the heart of your reading. Could be secrets, could be buried emotions, it could be um, anything, anything that is not revealed yet. All right, let's take a look at the Four of Wands in the recent past. Why is it here, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know about this? Four of Wands, please. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Self-nurturing, perhaps. Self-care, self-love, self-support. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Or maybe it's this relationship that you would like to heal the stability of it. Queen of Pentacles, stable, healing, nurturing, motherly type of energy, very caring, very supportive. And we have the Page of Pentacles, wanting to make the initial investment. I think you want to heal this relationship, is what you're saying. I think you want to bring healing and support to it. And we have the Eight of Wands. This is all about energy moving quickly. Maybe you'd like to do this quickly. Uh, it could be communication moving quickly here. You would like to open up communication and, uh, and, and bring some healing and support and some stability back to this relationship. Possibly marriage, like I said. And the reason for those clarifiers, King of Wands. This is a uh, very masterful energy. He's masterful of his actions. Sex in the card doesn't matter. It's the energy that matters. So um, this could be how you're feeling or how you think about your person. It's the reason we're here. This is very attractive energy. Very confident in their actions. Masterful, passionate, and someone that we uh, have a lot of attraction with. All right, let's take a look at Four of Cups coming up next. This is disappointment and how things have been going. There's an offer coming in, but I don't think you see it. I think you're so caught up in the, uh, in the disappointment and being upset about the things that didn't work out that you might miss this offer. And we have the Palace of Cups. Palace of Cups is unique to this Sierra Marchetti, Marchetti, however you say it, this deck. Um, which is uh, the Encore Tarot. And uh, he made these palaces for each suit to have their own place to live. So the Page of Cups right there lives at the palace uh, along with the uh, Knight, Queen, and King. And this is where we go when we need to get some expertise in something to do with emotions. We need to gain some understanding with emotions there's that king again look at that king of wands go into the palace so whoever this king of wands is that is represented in in your life um, is either feeling disappointed here and needs to get some understanding some emotional understanding and we have the five of swords this is winning at all costs. This is coming up later on in the future part of the reading right here. Same card, same meaning. And um, it's saying we're willing to sacrifice something to win, to get what we want. Okay. See, and like I said, it's not always a bad thing. And I think here it's a good thing. I feel like it, it's, um, it's positive here because it's the king going to the palace to gain emotional insight to something. And 
and I can't get the card straight. <laughs> That's good enough. Um, the underlying, we have the Two of Swords. We're here because we're confused. Uh, we can't see something clearly, which is the perfect reason to go to this expert palace of emotions to get understanding because you can't see it quite clearly here so that's why we're here and uh, that makes perfect sense you're confused you're up in your head and there's something you can't see but sometimes with this card I say that uh, it's it's something you can't see because somebody's either hiding something from you or something you don't want to see but I don't get that at all. I just feel like you do want to see because if you didn't, you wouldn't be going to the palace. You want to see. You want to figure this emotional thing out. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at the Ten of Cups coming up next. This is blessings from above on the homestead of love. This is who you commune with. This is your family, who you live with. And it's been divinely blessed from above. All the love cups are filled. There's so much happiness here. What's going on with the Ten of Cups, please? What does Virgo need to know about the Ten of Cups? There it is. And we have the Nine of, oh, the Nine of Pentacles. This is the card of independence. This is being single on one's own, doing just fine financially. Uh, doesn't mean we, we don't want more financially. It just means we're okay. We're not, hurt, we're not hurting. Uh, we're okay, but we're on our own. Ten of Cups again. Maybe what this is actually saying is you're in a committed relationship, possibly marriage, like I said. You're in this committed relationship. It's the same card over here, Four of Wands, and here we have a committed relationship here we have a committed relationship this is who we live with this is who we live with so your cards are congruent um but maybe what this is saying is since this is coming out again is that you're in a committed relationship but you feel alone or somebody in the relationship feels alone and that's the worst kind of alone isn't it it's it's like if you're alone and you're by yourself then that makes sense but if you're in with other people and you still feel alone or by yourself um, that doesn't feel so great so that could be what this is saying here what's your third clarifier oh new beginnings new beginnings new adventures a fresh start taking the plunge This could be about making a decision to go from single to married, taking the plunge, a fresh start, a new beginning, a new adventure. Take it as it fits. We may be referred back to this for more clarity as the reading unfolds. We'll learn more. Very interesting cards there. The reason we're here, yeah, look at that. A new opportunity to build stability. A new opportunity, the the fool, new adventures. Hmm. So maybe this is not about feeling alone in a committed relationship. Maybe this is about this is what we want, or this is what we once had. Maybe there was some separation and disappointment, but maybe you want it back again, and you want a new start, a fresh start, a new beginning. It could be multiple things for multiple Virgos out there, so take it as it fits because these are the energies that are here. This is a gift from the universe you feel like uh, you've been given. It's the reason we're here with these cards. You want to build stability from the ground up. This is just a seedling that needs to be nurtured. It's the beginning of something, and it needs work. It needs attention. It needs time and care and patience and nutrition and protection and all the things in order to bring this seedling into a fruition of what it is you want and it looks like you want that ten of cups that that much i'm sure about you want the ten of cups you want the marriage the family and the happiness on your homestead yeah that i'm absolutely positive about and you want a fresh start in it somehow it's either brand new or you're restarting something because something wasn't working out prior 
And over here, you're showing me you want to invest in this relationship and the stability of it. You want to nurture it. You want to heal it. And um, you want energy to move there. And you want communication. And uh, over here, you're trying to understand emotions that are wrapped up with this person that you're attracted to. But you are determined to figure it out with that five of swords. I'm going to figure this out. I know what I want. This is what I want. I'm going for it. So very determined energy towards this love relationship and commitment back back there. Very interesting. Very interesting. And remember, as we look back at the overall energy of your reading, the Hierophant's here. That's a card of marriage. You're conflicted here, but you're hopeful. So something's troubling you, but you are hopeful. But you're not making any moves yet with the Knight of Pentacles. We're just sort of at a standstill. And speaking of at a standstill, the very next card we are clarifying is the Hangman in the current energies. This is uh, hanging back, not taking any action, but we are going over things, looking at all the angles. Why is the hangman here, please? What does Virgo need to know? You're assessing the situation. Makes sense. Seven of Pentacles. Where are we at? How much stability do we have so far? How much do we need to make it even more? That kind of thing. Where are we at? What's going on? What do we need? What do we have? that kind of thing really looking at it and we have temperance uh, this denotes patience and time this happens over a long period of time um, and it it brings healing and balance to the situation or that's the desire to do so but it does take time to bring that and judgment you're being called to your highest self to make a very important decision Right, interesting. Oh, we'll put it over here. We don't have to do that. Okay. Next up, oh, the reason we're here. Ooh, nine of swords. Because we're all up in our head and we're worried. We're, we're actually stressed out here. There's a very important decision you want to make. You're being called to respond differently than you normally would by being called higher. There's a, there's a call coming from your soul self. It's up to you to answer it but it would bring healing and balance to this situation. And as you analyze it and go over things, you're very troubled and feeling a lot of stress. You're your sleepless nights, insomnia, worry, fears, all kinds of things bothering you right here. Very stressed out, lots of anxiety. You gotta be careful about that anxiety, Virgo. You guys worry a lot. Part of, part of a trait for your sign worrying worrying about the stability of things for sure okay let's take a look at the moon right at the heart of your reading this is things that are hidden things yet to be revealed what is yet to be revealed or what can Virgo know about the moon card please Ooh, there it is ten of wands that's a heavy burden it's as if you're carrying all the responsibility here and it's not being revealed yet and we have the world card. There's an old cycle getting ready to close out so a new one can begin. It's coming to a close. It's hidden though. It's, it's Others don't know about it. You may not know about it. I kind of feel like you do know about it. Um, and it could even be an, an old life cycle coming to an end and a new one beginning could be something like going from single to married. Right here. Single to married. New adventure that kind of thing or let's move in together or let's commit or let's you know something but you're worried and stressed <laughs> okay and finally we have the knight of cups this is the desire to express our emotions this is uh, feeling the impulse I want to I want to say it I want to express myself but it's hard with the Ten of Wands. It's, this is very hard for you. Okay. Interesting. Pull that down. Okay. Good. We can see everything. I like that. All right. And the reason we're here. Ooh, the Palace of Swords. The Palace of Swords is where you go to get uh, clarity of mind. 
It's the highest levels of thought, intelligence, clarity, truth. It's where we go to get the information that we need to get clear on something. And it's coming out on the moon because it's yet to be revealed. You're not quite clear. That's, what, that's why this is hard. You're not quite clear. You want to express yourself. You want to bring an old cycle to an end, possibly being single, uh, and, and begin something totally new for your life here. I think in commitment with, with your person, perhaps. All right, let's move on and take a look at the King of Pentacles. That would be one of your court cards, Virgo. The King of Pentacles, very grounded, very stable, um, reliable type of energy, and just a master at managing all of the manifestations. Very, very good at it. Very masterful. This is a mature energy, an experienced energy. King of Pentacles, why is it here? And what does Virgo need to know, please? Okay, look at that. You're getting all the palace cards. Wow. Palace of Wands. This is uh, where you go to get inspired. Where you go to get inspired to take masterful action on something. To follow your passions. Inspiration to the max is here. This person is inspiring. And you're feeling passionate about it. It's where the King of Wands lives. That dude right back there. We've seen him a couple times. And we have... Um, this is... What is this? This is the Two of Pentacles. Sorry, it took me a second. I wanted to say the Hangman for some reason. I don't know why. I'm like, that's not the Hangman. <laughs> it's the Two of Pentacles. This is all about balance. Balance. Doing a balancing act. You're juggling something. Uh, it's kind of like one foot in, one foot out. You're going back and forth. You're trying to make a decision. Uh, and all the while that you're trying to make this decision uh, surrounding this inspiring person, you are doing a balancing act. Should I? Shouldn't I? When do I do it? When don't I do it? Uh, it's, it's a decision about something. Uh, and you're trying to figure it out what the right balance is for you to take action. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was waiting for one of these cards to come up. <laughs> this is the soul connection. This is two people coming together with their love cups and sharing them in love. Yeah. Making a decision. A passionate and inspired decision about your soul connection. How cool is that, guys? This is really telling a story. You see it, right? It takes a while for it to unfold. Oh my God. Look at that. The Palace of Manifestation. This is the Palace of Pentacles. Or I like to call it the Placido de Monedas just because it sounds so cool. The Palace of Money. <laughs> <laughs> the Palace of Pentacles. This is where you go to manifest. You are here. The reason we're here is because we want to manifest this passionate, inspired decision surrounding our soul connection that we love. Wow. And you want to manage this manifestation. The King of Pentacles lives here at the palace. You want to manage this manifestation like perfectly. You're just, you've got all the palace cards guys we saw the palace of swords the palace of cups is this the palace of cups right here yeah we've seen it all all the palaces you've got all the expert um levels of knowledge that you are seeking out wow wow no wonder you're all worried and like tense and like um you know wow you're stressed out and anxiety like a person who would get ready to pop the question, if you will. <laughs> I mean, that may or may not be the situation, popping the question, but there's definitely some major decision around this. And uh, wow, it's so cool. And I really do think it might be about marriage. I really do. There's so many marriage cards here. And, uh, and just the sense of the decision you're trying to make around this. It's amazing. <laughs> it's yet to be revealed. It's a major decision. I'm looking around at all your cards. Hey, when spirit does that, it's a balancing act on my wrist. 
That means we're supposed to catch and release. You're supposed to see this card. It's not part of your next layout, but you're supposed to see it. It's related to it somehow. And the next, the next card that we're clarifying here is the Page of Swords. What we need to take a closer look at to learn something about. This is the Nine of Cups for your own personal happiness, satisfaction, joy. Okay. Let's uh, go forward here with the Page of Cups. Why is it here? Why is it here? Oh, look what came out. Look what Spirit just did. <laughs> you are meant to see it. <laughs> uh, maybe this is double blessings on your personal happiness. It's like extra, extra happy, which is why Spirit wanted you to see it twice. Spirit is magic moving these cards. I don't call it the Spirit Shuffle Tarot for nothing. And we have the Eight of Cups. What the heck is this? No. I don't get this. This is um, opposite sort of energy in that this person's turning their back on their emotions. They're disconnecting from their emotions. Um, there's only eight cups here. Maybe that's it. There's eight cups here. It's not enough anymore. This person wants ten. Ten cups. And where's the other ten cups? We saw it somewhere. I don't know. You've, you've seen it. Whatever. It's probably right in front of my face. But ten of cups, ten of cups came out multiple times. And uh, there's only eight on this card, and this, this person's turning their back on eight. That thing's not enough. I'm being called someplace else. And uh, I don't know if you're with a Pisces, Virgo, but just in case somebody is, there's uh, this person is facing a moon with a Pisces symbol on it. Very interesting. The moon is about emotions. And of course, Pisces being the water sign about emotions and earth and water signs do go quite well together. So could be, could be, doesn't have to be, but I'm just putting it out there. But this is very odd. We have the, the nine of cups and then the eight of cups turning our back on something for our own personal happiness. We need to take a closer look at this. What else? Wow. The palace of manifestation just came up again. You guys are going to all the palaces. Wow. I'm, I've never seen this so many before. This is amazing. Um, I mean, I've seen three come out, but you've got four, and some of them coming out multiple times, so more than four times. Um, and there are only four, so there you go. Uh, wow. It looks like you're learning how to turn your back on what isn't for you so that you can get what is for you whatever that eight of cups is you're turning your back maybe you're turning your back on your own personal happiness here I don't think so because this is nine cups and this is eight I don't know I don't get it I don't get it I'm, conf I'm, I'm admitting I'm confused here give me a minute let me just stare at this for a second let's look at the bottom the reason we're here ooh Seven of Swords. Somebody's being sneaky. I got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, it just hit me all of a sudden. It's still congruent with all that. Because if you're being sneaky and the moon, you're not revealing. You're turning your back on... Um, oh, I had it for a second. Turning your back on what isn't enough anymore for your own personal happiness you are or maybe your own personal happiness isn't enough anymore and you are actually turning your back on your own singlehood of happiness because you want to go from the nine to the ten and that's why the palace is here because you're going to manifest it you're manifesting this this union that's what you're doing you're leaving your own singlehood behind this it that's what it looks like and manifesting a union, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, and you're doing it sneaky. The Seven of Swords is a card of deceit, but I don't feel any bad deceit going on here at all. This is deceit. Uh, this is uh, just somebody being sneaky. Just think of it that way. Somebody's waiting in the wings to take some action. And that would be like, hey, let's get married. Marry me. Let's live together. I love you. I want to manifest a life with you with children and commitment and our lives together that's what you're telling me 
for your own personal happiness. You're turning your back on what isn't enough anymore. And you're manifesting something else. What? Committed relationship. And you're being sneaky, sneaky about it. Or somebody is. I don't know. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. If, uh, if this lines up with you guys, it's definitely a story here for somebody to see, to be validated what's going on in their lives. You're being witnessed. Your spirit team is here. They want you to know. And um, I don't know. I feel like you're very much being supported here in your, in your journey. Let's look at the Five of Swords, winning at all cost. We have the Three of Wands. You're waiting. You're waiting to make your move here. <laughs> and I see you over there by the door, Z. I see you. We, we were just out five minutes ago, and we'll go out in another ten. <laughs> in between each reading, I take him out. I take... Uh, I have two. I take them both out. I ground. I, I release all the energy. I go out barefoot and I do this whole grounding thing and I release all the energies from, from the reading. And um, so it's a little thing. We go outside constantly with <laughs> these dogs. But he's over there waiting by the door like, I got to go out, Mom. <laughs> anyway, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. This is the desire to come together to build stability, to build or even rebuild sometimes stability. Uh, it's about making plans. It's coming together with others to make plans. You're waiting. You're waiting to come together with others to make plans. But you're determined to win. Whatever this is, you want to win. You're going to do it. And we have the Seven of Wands. This is uh, blocking unwanted energies. Keeping the unwanted energies at bay. Good. You know what these unwanted energies are? The stress and the anxiety. That's what that is. The worry, the fears, the doubts, the naysayers, any energies that put doubt in your confidence, you're blocking it. Good. Good, good, good. Do that. Because there's plenty of things that try and shake our confidence in life when we really want something. And sometimes it's just a test to uh, sort of let you know, like, how much do you want it? How much do you want it? I know you want it. I can tell you want it. You're doing everything to to get it. You, How much do you want it? Five of Swords at all costs. Winning at all costs. That's your answer. <laughs> I know how much you want it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Okay, so the reason we're here, the magician. The magician. The magician is great to see here. We're here because you have everything you need to to manifest what it is you want. You're manifesting it. You sure are. You have everything you need. You have the resources. You have the knowledge. You have the skill. And you have the plan. Three of coins. The plan. Wow. But you're waiting. The three of wands is here. You're waiting. You're still waiting to make your move here. Speaking of making your move, the next card up is the ace of wands. This is the divine blessing that you're being given. It's supported by the universe right here. All aces are supported by the universe supported by the divine you don't have to take it I know you want to take it you're showing me <laughs> you're nervous but you're keeping those energies at bay um, this is all about taking a bold and courageous action that is it stems from your passion it stems from that fire inside of you in other words what you want what you're inspired by palace of wands right there inspired by really really cool all right Let's see what's up with those. Let's see what's up with the Ace of Wands, please. Making the bold move. Taking the bold action. Blessed by the Divine. And the Ten of Cups. Blessed by the Divine. Blessings from above on your homestead of love. Let's see. We have the High Priestess. Uh, this is a card of listening to your intuition. Listening to your intuition. When to make your move. Okay. Okay. It's always good. And we have, oh, the Knight of Pentacles. That's the overall energy of your reading. That guy right there in black and white. Uh, one of your court cards. This is moving really, really slow. Uh, taking your time. It's the slowest card in the entire tarot. And, um, okay. <laughs> and, oh, no. What the heck is this? This is the Nine of Wands. This is uh, the Wounded Warrior. This is somebody who's been through it before, been through the battle already, and they're they're wounded from 
from the past battle and they are healing and guarded with their energy very similar to the seven of swords guarding against unwanted energy this is guarding your own energy uh, still blocking unwanted energies from coming at you you're very guarded and uh, you're wounded here I think you're worried I think you're worried I think the worry just crept back in as you as you think back to your past battles your battle wounds that take you know sometimes a lifetime to heal from you know we do a little bit of healing at a time a little bit at a time um, all right so this is holding you back this is holding you back from making this bold move that's what it feels like you're listening to your to your intuition when to make your move but you're like almost at a halt you're moving so slow but it's because of this this is like a fear a fear card if you will you're just a, you're just you're hesitant you're scared to make this move that's what this is showing me all right the reason we're here yeah strength and courage that's what this is it's the strength card and it's all about gaining courage you're calling strength you're here you're calling strength in or you're here because of strength you're here because things are hard this is hard this move is really hard for you to make this commitment this putting yourself out there it's hard it's hard because of past losses that didn't work out and past disappointments maybe that's what this four of cups is all about back here maybe it's not that you're disappointed with that four of wands relationship that you're looking at I think you're disappointed with the past and the new offer that you don't see coming in is like this from the universe like here ten of cups we're giving it to you here ace of wands take your ace of wands and stick it in the ten of cups <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, I think that's what that's about now we take a closer look we take a closer look and going to the palace of emotions to get that sorted out you're still sorting it out here it creeps back in every once in a while as old wounds do sometimes when we're scared right um, but man you're supported as could be I encourage you to make your move I encourage you remember the underlying energy of the entire read you're contemplating your future you're contemplating which path to take when to make your move, what move you should make, that kind of thing, which way to go. You're conflicted over here, but you're hopeful, and it has to do with a commitment, a very significant commitment for your life. Oh, Virgo, what a great reading. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Wow. I'm happy for you, and, uh, and you know, just balance and healing you're 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 being called higher remember this you're being called to your highest self which means to heal it and it does take time we have to have patience and you have all the patience in the world yes you do you can do this you can do this I'm rooting for you this is good for you I know it's a good thing because the universe is all over it blessing it you are being supported but, but I see your tough time I'm acknowledging that let's pull a card from this beautiful oracle deck called Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle Spirit what special message do you have for our Virgo friends who are going through this fear of commitment issue um, fear of making their move <laughs> and um, I don't know what message do you have for them please sacrifice isn't that interesting and we have two sacrifice cards here the five of swords and the five of swords meaning winning at all costs I'm willing to sacrifice what are the costs what does this card say it says you must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self embracing all that is embracing truth oh I'm sorry embracing it all is embracing truth okay so yeah we have to even embrace you know our past hurts and wounds and uh, and truth and that's part of the sacrifice in other words you have 
I think Spirit is saying, and there's a little something for me to read here, and please stick around because there's more to your message, like a paragraph, nothing long, but um, but they're poignant messages, and I, I just feel that this is uh, this is saying that you need to go through this and do and heal it, and that's the sacrifice. That is the that's the only sacrifice here out of your whole reading is your past wounds of the sacrifice is you get to sacrifice them you get to let them go you get to heal them more but it hurts because you got to face it a little bit more and go through the stress and anxiety of it to heal it to do what to heal it to bring balance into your life you are being so supported to do whatever this is here okay let's read this it's card number 36 and it'll be quick there it is Sacrifice invites you to let go of something that is preventing your growth. Yes! <laughs> you do not wish to move on, but deep down you know this is a necessary step on your path towards greater fulfillment. Yes! Going from the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Okay. Uh, this can mean moving to a new home, embracing a new career, or a way of thinking, or even a rite of passes, passage such as graduation. You know that you are on your way to more, but the moment is still bittersweet. Pulling sacrifice shows you shows that you have some doubts about your next steps. You wonder if you have made the right choices or if you will later regret your actions. Yes, there will be challenges ahead and perhaps more sacrifices to come, but you must be willing to sacrifice something small to reap the rewards of something greater. I've got tears coming to my eyes now for you because it's so congruent and I'm so amazed and grateful every time spirit comes here and tells these stories guys it just blows my mind and it's a beautiful story and I'm touched by your story and I'm touched by spirit always showing up here and telling it I'm sorry it just I'm not sorry but I, I apologize for my interruption just because it makes me emotional in a good way okay <laughs> okay where were we uh, you wonder if you've made the right choices or you will later regret your actions. Yes, there will be challenges ahead and perhaps more sacrifices to come, but you must be willing to sacrifice something small to reap the rewards of something greater. It's time to commit to your choices and move on in the knowledge that there is much more for you to explore. You gotta know spirits here with that, right? It's so cool. Thank you so much for being here. Please like and share, subscribe, leave your comments down below, share it with your friends and family, help build this new channel. I really am asking for your support. It, it takes a lot to get traction and um, I appreciate you and I look forward to reading for you next time. Take care guys.